In this video, I'll show you how you can convert audio files using software you already have installed on your computer. I think many of us have been there where our client will send us audio files in a format that Adobe Captivate doesn't accept. Well, the good news is, is that you already have software installed on your computer that allows you to convert, say, M4A or uh, AAC or one of these other formats into WAV or MP3. Let me show you. So as you can see, when we try to drag an M4A file onto our slide, it doesn't work. Even if I go into the media icon and select audio and agree to change the audio for this slide, going up to my desktop where those files are located, you can see that there is no option other than WAV or MP3. So what do you do in this case? Well, the solution is that Adobe actually had the foresight to include one of its most valuable Creative Cloud applications with every installation of Adobe Captivate. And that's actually Adobe Media Encoder. So check your installation as I'm about to do here and you'll see that you'll likely have Adobe Media Encoder, one version or another. I also have the Creative Cloud. So in this case, I do have a more up-to-date version than perhaps what would have came with your copy of Adobe Captivate. But let's open this up and see what we can do for it. I'm just going to resize it a little bit so I can still see the folder that contains all of the audio files that were provided to me. So what I'm going to do is select all of my audio files and I'm going to drag them from their original location over to the panel in Adobe Media Encoder called Q. And if I let go of them, it will automatically populate the Q panel with all of the audio files that I wish to convert. Now it's selected waveform audio, but if you'd like to convert these to MP3 instead, you can select one of them, press Control A on your keyboard and change that to MP3 and you'll see they all change to MP3. So once you're satisfied with the settings that you're going to use, all you need to do is click on the Start Q icon in the upper right hand corner. And then you'll begin to see the encoding process take place. For files such as this, it's relatively quick. And if we return to our original folder, you'll now see that we have narration onemp 3 along with the original file. And of course, now I'm able to go back to my Adobe Captivate project, click on the media icon and select audio, agree to change the audio. We'll navigate to where those files are now located. And of course, the MP3 version of these files are now available to import. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.